Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, I will show you a game between Hermann Steiner and a known player. This game was played in California in 1945. Hermann Steiner had white pieces and he started with e4. A known player played e5. Knight to f3, knight to c6, bishop to c4, the Italian opening, knight to f6, two knights defense, and now knight to g5, the fried liver attack. Black to move, d5, e takes on d5, knight takes on d5, knight to a5 would be a better move. Knight takes on d5, and now white plays the obvious. What is the obvious? Knight takes pawn on f7, forking the queen and the rook. King takes knight, queen to f3, check. Forking the king and the knight on d5. King to e6, defending the knight. Knight to c3, more pressure on the knight on d5. Black to move. Knight to b4, defending the knight. On d5 and threatening. Knight takes pawn on c2, check, winning the rook. How to defend the pawn on c2? What would you do? Perhaps bishop to b3 comes to mind. Hermann Steiner played a3. Oh no! And now knight takes on c2, check, and black is winning the rook. What a disaster! King to d1. Knight takes rook. Knight takes on d5. King to d6. Black is a rook up. And if he can bring his king to safety, he is going to win if kings can fly. White to move. How would you continue in this position if you had white pieces? Perhaps rook to e1 comes to mind. Then black would play perhaps c6. Hermann played d4, sacrificing the pawn in order to unleash his white dark square bishop. Pawn takes pawn on d4. Bishop to f4, check. King to c5, attacking the bishop on c4. Bishop to a2, black was worried that white may play b4, so a5 was played. Maybe c6 is not a bad move. Maybe. But then bishop to c7 will be played anyway. Back to our game. After a5, we have bishop takes on c7, attacking the queen. Queen to d7. King to d2, threatening. Rook takes knight. Knight to c2. This is a very important moment of the game. Should white take the knight on c2 with the king or not? What would you do? Hermann played rook to c1. If king takes on c2, then queen to f5 check. And after queen takes queen, bishop takes queen check. And with the queens off the board, Black King has a good chance of surviving. So it was very important not to take the knight with the king. Rook to c1, pinning the knight. But now d3. And the knight is defended for sure. Maybe. Maybe not. Play with white pieces played. Rook takes knight. Check to clear the path for the queen. d takes on c2. Queen to c3, check. King to b5. White to move and to check mate in one. The move is in a slow motion. Check mate. Wow, what a violent game. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.